old church lady stale candy in her purse it's just she's not that girl <laughs> For those of you that do not know, be sure before we get started that you like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel and be sure to follow me on TikTok and Instagram at the Megan McKinley. All right, so let's jump into it. I know some of you all have been waiting for my updated fragrance collection video. I have quite a few new fragrances um, that I want to share with you all and kind of give my review on them because they're really, really hot on the market right now. I know you probably have heard other influencers talk about some of these fragrances, but I'm here to give you the real tea on them, okay? Because that's what I mean. I'm here to give you the real tea. I have no sponsorships. I have nothing to gain from giving you all the real deal on some of these designer fragrances. I know I've been doing unboxings on my Instagram stories and everything like that. So this is just more on an extensive, uh, this is more on an extensive level of me showing you all and giving my review of some of these bomb fragrances we've been seeing everywhere. So the video is gonna go like this. I'm gonna go from my latest fragrances to my OG fragrances. And then at the end, I'm gonna give you the fragrances that I would never ever buy and would never recommend to anybody that some of you all probably have been wondering about because you hear people talk about them so much. But again, it just goes from nose to nose, certain in body chemistry. But I could probably say these are a waste of your money. Like, just don't do it. <laughs> All right, so let's get started. All right, so up first, I have the infamous Ebony Wood scent from Zara Scents in their collaboration with Joe Malone London. So I ended up getting the small bottle because, as you all know, Kyra did a TikTok. If you don't know who Kyra is, look up Kyra Dominique. She's like an amazing influencer. And, um, you know, I, I love her. I'm subscribed. I loved her. So I follow her on Instagram. I follow her on TikTok. And she talked about Ebony Woods. Now, I also got it in the candle because, again, it's a collaboration with Joe Malone London that Zara is doing. And this fragrance, the candle is about $15.90. The fragrance that I got for this size was $20. It was $19.90. And let me just say, I got this fragrance two days ago in the mail because we don't have a Zara here in North Carolina. And I'm not super impressed, I have to say. The thing is, it does smell good, but to me, it's not um, a fragrance that you would wear on your body. To me, it's something that you would put in your lingerie drawer. Um, you would spray in your closet. It's giving very much so like a home scent. Cause if you watch her stories or her um, YouTube vlogs, uh, she was like spraying it around her house. And that's exactly the feel that I get from it. I get that it's like more of a home scent. And because when I first smelled the fragrance, I was like, this smells so familiar. And so I had my mom smell it and she was like, it smells familiar too. But it smelled like something more like my grandmother wore back in the day. Like not old lady, but like a very rich and like 1950s type of scent. But also Zara Home has dark amber in its a room spray. And I'm like, this smells just like Ebony Woods. So Zara, y'all trying to pull, pull, um, pull the okie doke on them. So I'm about to smell them right beside each other. I usually keep this linen spray in my car because I like my car to smell good. But I really think these are the same scents. They're very similar. This is just more, I think, potent because it is labeled as um, a Eau de Parfum. So, but yeah, these are very, they're very similar. Like, they're, they, these are very similar scents. So that's why I had to bring this, and I got this from TJ Maxx. Because like I said, we don't have a Zara, a Zara home here, but also 
Zara is known for their fragrances. Like my friend, she put me on a long time ago. My lash and eyebrow tech, she loves Zara scents and like she gets this rose one that's really good that I think I'm gonna get next because I really liked it. But yeah, I would not wear this. I saw on Kyra, Kyra's vlog, she said she layers it. The candle, if you're interested in the candle, the candle smells very like light and faint. Um, if you're somebody like me, I like my candles to fill up the room, this is not it. This is a candle that's perfect for like your nightstand, um, your personal bathroom and things like that because it's not going to be overpowering or mess with your allergies because I like a potent candle that's gonna fill up the room but I don't like it to like start to mess with my allergies. So this is perfect. Um, it just has a nice light scent. All right, so that's that for the Zara Ebony Woods that everybody was raving about and sold out. So that's just my review. I don't think it's nothing you gotta run and go and get, but um, to me, it just smells better like as an essence in your home versus like a scent on your body. Next up is my most recent designer fragrance, which is the Carolina Herrera Supreme. And it comes in the heel and it's sparkly. This was my first time actually trying one of the Carolina Herrera's Good Girls. Um, good Girl, is it Good Girl Gone Bad? Uh, fragrances, fragrances. When I went last Christmas to find a new signature, when I went last Christmas shopping to find a new signature fragrance, <laughs> did, I tried one of these and I just, it wasn't giving and I ended up getting the YSL Libre. But the Supreme smells really good. Um, it's, it's giving more fruity florals, um, but it's very sexy, it's very sensual. Like this is a, a good one for date night. Yeah, and it's as a nighttime scent or like if you're going out with your girls for drinks or just like something where it's gonna, you're, you're giving a little bit more. I think this would be the perfect scent. As some of you know, I am a big florals girl. So a lot of my, my um, collection is going to be more um, feminine and not unisex. And they're gonna be fruity florals or just florals or they're gonna be more fresh and clean scents. So just to give you all a review of kind of the area that I'm gonna be discussing today. Ebony Woods is more musky, so, um, but it still to me has a, um, that scent that amber gives it more of a sensual feminine feel. Next up, this is my first Ariana Grande, Ariana Grande Cloud perfume. I know you all have seen this a lot of places. Her perfumes do really well. Actually, I sampled quite a few of them, and honestly, I liked most of them. It was nothing that, let's say I wouldn't go out and buy it, but they were really good. Like, um, I think I said this on my Instagram story, like I smell God as a woman, because I think that's her most latest fragrance, and it gives me Vera Wang Princess, which to me is a little teeny bopper for the college girls. It's not really for my style, but um, it smells good. Everyone says Ariana Grande Cloud is like the Baccarat dupe. I can't say that per se because now it's like a lot of fragrances on the market that claim to be Baccarat dupes, but this is just really fresh. It's um, very feminine and it's to me like you can wear this day or night. It's just a nice scent to kind of toss on if you're going to run errands or any or anything like that. And this is priced at um, $55 for this size, which is pretty reasonable. And let me just go back to the Carolina Herrera Supreme. Most of the bigger bottles, this is a spray top off jump. This one has a top. This one um, I got from Ulta, it was $75, but majority of the retail stores don't sell the smaller one, just kind of Ulta. So I think they start at 104. Next up, I have two cents that I bought from Rebel Scents. It was my first time trying Rebel Scents. Um, again, like I had saw Kyra do a video and she had like a partnership with Rebel Scents and she talked about some scents and then also I saw like Natasha S, um, Tasha Washa, she did a review on some Rebel Scents and Rebel Scents, they had their own version of fragrances and then they have designer fragrances. So I got one of their um, signature fragrances from their line and then I got a designer fragrance that is pretty much hard to find, I realized, because I had been looking about it because Aaliyah Face had talked about it a lot and it is the Moschino Gold Fresh and I really like this scent. 
It has a little bit of pink pepper in it, I think. Um, you all are gonna have to Google the other notes in here because I didn't do notes this time because the girls tried to eat me up. I hope y'all don't hear the gra um, grass uh, cutting. I'm gonna try to find some music so we can tune that out. But yes, back to this. Moschino Gold, really, really cute bottle. I like this one. It's a really fresh, clean scent. Like when I'm working from home, I take a shower and I just want to smell good for the day. I'll put this one on uh, Saturday morning errands. I'm not really into mixing fragrances because growing up, if you know you had a mom or a grandmother or an auntie that was into fragrances, they always told you don't mix your fragrances because it's going to stink. You're not supposed to mix all those together. So I'm not a good mixer, but I know people that do mix this. And um, I saw this on Amazon, like a little tidbit for the new girls. If you don't know, try to steer away from like Amazon and places like that because they usually tend to sell the counterfeit products and they're not usually gonna be the true scent that it is. Um, so I kept seeing this on Amazon every time I Googled it, went to Rebel Scents, they had it, and actually this was a blind buy that I actually really liked. This is a blind buy that I, I really like. So I use this often in my rotation. So the next fragrance that I got from Rebel Scents is called Onyx. It comes in this chocolate and gold bottle. They had did a release and I think Kyra had a promotion and she talked about Onyx and how much she loved it. And it's like, very, it gives very notes, um, really fruity, feminine, but like sexy. Like it's, it's a little bit of a bossy scent. So like I said, um, if that's the thing you're into, this would be a perfect night, early evening uh, scent to wear. I feel like it's a bit heavy for daytime, but I like this one. This one's also in my rotation for when, you know, I'm going to do something different or if I just want to feel special. So if you all remember like around the time of the Sephora, um, the annual, semi-annual semi -annual sale, when they do like the one for the VIB members and everything like that, that sale, everybody was talking about Princess by Killian, Princess by Killian. Um, Jackie Aina was talking about it, like they were selling out and I was like, that was one of her signature fragrances, all that stuff and like the girls had sold it out because I really, I really like bottles. They look better on my shelf. But y'all, we always don't need a big bottle on our shelves when it comes to perfume, especially once you start collecting them. You don't need a bunch of big bottles of a fragrance because, you know, eventually they expire too. Like you, you're supposed to replenish your fragrances because you know when a fragrance is old, it smells like straight alcohol. Like it's time to cut it out. So I was able to get the little trouble size and I got two. So I always keep one in my purse. But this is the first scent with um, vanilla that I got and I liked. I'm usually not a vanilla girl. Um, that's something I usually steer away from. But this actually mixed very well with my body chemistry. And it's just like a sweet, like, girly scent. It smells like marshmallows, vanilla, and I usually don't like to smell sweet, um, like fruit, like cake, like food sweet. So that's why I feel like this was like a safe one for me because it worked well with me. Like it makes you smell so yummy rather than like, you know, a bouquet of flowers. <laughs> so it's like, your man will probably like, mm, I'm gonna eat you up, okay? So that's, um, and it's, I don't need a prince by my side to be a princess I'm by Killian. And these fragrances run high. Um, this was maybe $35 and I got them like on sale. I think at that time I had like 15% off, but I got two because they said it was going out of stock. I was like, if I like it, I'm gonna keep it. If I don't like it, I could gift it. All right, so we're gonna travel down the line. So I think many of you remember when I got this because I was so pressed. I was about as pressed as I was of over Ebony Woods to get this scent and it's Bitter Peach by Tom Ford. This is my most expensive fragrance and Honestly, I do not feel comfortable spending more than maybe 150 on a scent because I feel like there's so many good scents out there that you don't have to spend an arm and a leg. There is one more um, designer, like very high end for my, for my price point, fragrance that I would want and it's one of the MFKs. It's Gentle Fluidity Gold. Um, they're the makers of Baccarat. But Bitter Peach, I haven't worn as much as I want to. 
because it's like a very sexy it's like on the lines of princess it's like very it's a very edible yummy scent and um it's hot like it's like the spring summer scent but like honey you cannot wear this scent and go outside and be hot the bugs are going to swarm like it's a good date night like oh you want to smell yummy you smell like a you know a basket of peaches and cognac and i feel like men really like this scent y'all so see they also have it in a smaller version but this bottle is 350 dollars i got it on sale and i think i ended up paying 280 for it and y'all know time for it is expensive this is just 50 milliliters so i think it's like at 1.7 ounce so that's that but I'm glad this is something that I have in my perfume collection. Okay, going on, before Bitter Peach, I had went into Sephora to get Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue, because everybody talks about Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. The um, SA came up to me and was like, hey, Giorgio Armani has a new scent, like you should try it. And to me, they were like around the same. So I have Ocean, the Gioia. Don't come for me unless I send for you in the comments. I don't speak Italian, but it's pretty much Giorgio Armani's version of light blue. Um, it's again, a fresh scent. It's a vacation, sh uh, vacation scent. I took this with me when I went to Miami. It's like, if you're going by the water, it's like one of those just fresh scents. It reminds you of the beach, but without it smelling like salty seawater, it's just really like clean and fresh. And um, sometimes I really am in the mood just to wear this. So that's five. And then my next one, I tell everyone like, if you are a starter, this is a perfect starter perfume, designer perfume, because I think it's just one of those universal scents that everybody likes. And I feel like it goes well with pretty much almost everyone's body chemistry. To me, I feel like it's still kind of reasonable. It's not super pricey um as far as an investment because if you really want a quality perfume you're gonna be spending between 100 and 150 70 depending on what size you get dollars for a bottle but they also have smaller ones um it's the gucci guilty and i know there's various bottles but i don't know if it's just because of size or whatnot but you see like i done really been hitting this i'm probably gonna have to get another one but looks can be deceiving i'm still good um gucci guilty it's just it's just a real bossy and classy scent. It's like a cross between fresh and florals to me. Um, and it makes me smell good. It makes me feel super feminine and sexy. Like I love Gucci Guilty. Like this is my go-to if I'm going for a girl's weekend. Um, I'll just take this because I know it's gonna one um, transcend. It's gonna go for evening. It's gonna go for day. It's just one of those scents that you can just use um, at any time. And there's various Gucci Guilties, but this is like more so known as the classic one in this bottle. All right, and then my OGs. These are my babies. These are like how, what kicked off my collection um, and me getting back more into fragrances. And it's the Valentino Donna Born in Roma. And I got the big bottle. This was $130. Um, they have a new fragrance of this it's like yellow dream i really like that one but i have to try it again but i don't know if i would do another valentino scent so similar but this is my go-to girl too like she's another one that can transcend from day to night it makes me feel like a boss i feel like a grown woman when i wear this i feel like i get a lot of compliments when i get this, this is one of my most complimented perfumes on my body um like, people just love this. Every time I wear it, they're like, girl, what you got on? What's this? What's that? And um, last but not least, honey, it's YSL Libra. I tell everyone about this scent. I love this scent. Y'all know, like, this is not the first time you've seen this on my video. Look at it. Just This just reminds you of, like, rich black girl, like, when your grandparents used to get dressed up, when people used to really get dressed up, that's what this bottle reminds me of. It just gives me classic. It gives me classy. Um, this is one where, honey, 
if I'm doing a pitch, this is what I would wear. So when I step through, they smell me and just, I just love this scent. And I was on it so hard, I was afraid I was gonna use it all up. I had to start investing in more fragrances and I'm so happy that I did because this is still my favorite. This is still one of my top threes. Like, I can't get enough of this scent. Like you see me, I'm just keep smelling it. I have, I don't have anything on today. I might spray that. It just depends. I don't wanna, I don't like spraying my fragrances until I know where I'm going. Like as of right now, I'm hanging around the house, but if somebody call me up and be like, girl, let's go, rah, rah, rah. Cause it's a three day weekend. I'm gonna be like, okay, what am I gonna wear? Like everything is intentional, okay? With me, everything is intentional. So that's it for my fragrance collection. And now I'm on to uh, the fragrances that I'm gonna tell you never to buy. <laughs> but you know, you do that, you take that um, with a grain of salt. So the two fragrances that I really just did on a blind buy, which is why I don't like blind buys, is um, this one, a lot of people talk about this scent. And I didn't get the hype. I thought it was like some magical scent because it's like, oh, it's not a perfume, but it is. But it is Juliet Has a Gun, not a perfume. And that's literally what's called Juliet Has a Gun. Is it gonna focus? It's not gonna focus because it's red. Not a perfume, but it says it's straight on the bottle. And it's supposed to be one of those like one note things and you spray it on your body and it um, warms up and then that's how it comes off. Like it's gonna smell different on everybody else. Rah, rah, rah. That type of situation. But y'all, it smell like a nursing home. It smell like granny. Like it smell like, what's that one? All the, all, the, all the grandmas wear like white diamonds. It's just giving old church lady stale candy in her purse. It's just, she's not that girl. Um, and I don't know what to do with her. It's like, it's like make me sick. I just don't like that scent at all. So my second fragrance, my regret, my fragrance fail, uh, my fragrance fail was from Kyron. Like, Kyra done had some hits or miss with me. And this was in her lineup and she ranked them and all that stuff. But honestly, you know, you can tell her I gotta go from the ground so when people getting paid to do these promotions, no shades. Cause I still love her so much and I love a lot of influencers. And honey, they gotta get that big. But Hex by Rebel, it's a sparkling note in here that I hate. I feel like if they did not have that sparkling note, it would be like an okay scent. Um, scent. But I, like I tried to give this away time and time again. The only person that liked it is my aunt and I think she only liked it cause she know I be getting good stuff. I don't even think she really liked it. But if she asked about this and again, I'll give it to her. Or you know what, my niece downstairs, I might be like, girl, you But I don't even want her to be wearing it and smelling like that. Like I would've gave her Princess by Killian. I might give her like a little scent for Christmas. She's in middle school. You know how they get in middle school? Like she gotta come with it like, this was horrible. I did not like this. It is a little teeny bopper, so I might get this to her. But I did not like it. And it could just sit cute on her desk. I think exactly I'm about to go downstairs. She over here. I'm about to go downstairs and give it to her now. But I would never get that. Like, I'm not a, I just realized, like, stop trying to force yourself to be something or not. I'm not a blind by girl. I'm just not. So, with that being said, that's the end of my fragrance collection, you guys. Thank you all for tuning in. I appreciate you. Um, be sure to subscribe to my channel, hit that alerts button, follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Cause your girl just trying to grow on here. We trying to have a good time on my channel. All that good stuff. You can follow me at the Megan McKinley on Instagram and TikTok. My website is MeganMcKinley.com. I'm about to get um, some more great content for you all up there. They'll kind of be reflective of all my channels and all my social media pages so they can just be like a standpoint so if you rather if you watch my video but you want to reference you can reference the article versus re-watching the video and things like that be sure this one too you know with the views that there's a lot with me but yeah that's all for right now and i will catch you all in my next video bye smooches <laughs>